Yes, good afternoon everybody. So after that, in vinyl canal and in vinyl hernia section, now we are going to talk about the face part. So just we are waiting so that all the students can come at the platform. Yes, good evening everybody. Yes, Dr. Isha, Dr. Santhani. Yes, good afternoon. Thank you, thank you. So we will talk about the face. Just waiting so that all the students can come at the platform. Hope you all like the class of the inguinal canal, inguinal hernia. Yes, thank you, thank you, Dr. Vishal. Miss you, dear. Uh, I'm really missing the Karaganda. Okay, last time really nice celebration. Thank you, everyone. Yes, thank you, Dr. Lilith. Thank you, Dr. Anish. Yes, I'm fine. So, yes, I think sufficient students are there. Yes, yes, keep safe. Yes, Dr. Arafat Ali keeps <coughs> the Karaganda, Ukraine. There's all the people I'm missing, really. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so now we are going to start for the class head neck face. So, in the yesterday class, we have talked about the face. See here the margin of the face, hairline, then chin, then margin of mandible, and then angle of mandible joining the Mastoid process and then on each side this ear part. So these are the various boundaries of the face. So one by one we will talk. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Yes. So one by one we will talk about the arteries. First we are talking about the important arteries of the face. Okay. So just see here what are the important arteries of the face. Here this is the orbit. So near the orbit just at the upper part there is a one foramen. That is a supraorbital foramen. One artery is coming from here and going to supply the scalp in this way. From here to the above. So this artery is known as supraorbital artery. And just medial to it, there is a one supratrochlear artery is also. So two arteries I told you. Supratrochlear, supraorbital. Getting the point? And now see here. External carotid artery is running from here, just in front of the sternocleidomastoid, there is the common carotid artery. That common carotid artery will divide into the external carotid and internal carotid. The external carotid artery, it gives eight branches. So, what are the eight branches of the external carotid artery? See here, here is the external carotid artery which is running from side in this pain manner. Okay, see here. From this, this is the view, how the external carotid artery is running externally to the cranial cavity. So when it is running, first there is a thyroid gland. So it will give first artery to the thyroid gland, superior thyroid artery. Then it is ascending upside. So tongue is there. So it is giving one branch to the tongue. That is the lingual artery. When, when it is ascending upside, there is a face. So it is giving one zigzag big artery to the face. That is the facial artery. So this is very old pattern kind of the MCQ. The main artery of the face. Remember, the main artery of the face answer is the facial artery. Now this facial artery is ascending upside. Then it divides into two. The facial artery divides into two. One is the running towards the maxilla bone. That's why maxillary artery. Another is running towards the temporal region. That's why temporal artery. But better to say superficial temporal artery. Fir se better. Kya kya chijay padha? Thyroid gland, superior thyroid artery. Tongue aya, isliye lingual artery. Then face aya, isliye facial artery. Phir ye external carotid artery, do mein divide ho gaya. Apne body mein jab aap padhenge, to aapko ye jaldi yaad ho ga. So it is dividing into the maxillary artery and superficial temporal artery. Okay. We will see three are entry branches, two are terminal branches. We will see in our zoom part. Okay. Now two arteries are running posteriorly to the ear. So one artery which is running posteriorly to the ear, that is the posterior auricular artery while the another artery which is going towards the occipital bone that is known as occipital artery so there are two posterior artery again summarizing three anterior branches two terminal branches two posterior branches and one is medial branch which will ascend upside and it will supply the oral cavity so this is the ascending 
the cavity of the oral side on the posterior side there is a pharynx so that is the pharyngeal part so that artery will supply the pharyngeal cavity that's why it is known as the ascending pharyngeal artery okay so this is the only medial branch of the extra carotid artery first branch superior thyroid artery given in your grace anatomy 40 first edition in any one book of the ent it is not mentioned in such a way but don't keep any kind of the controversy grace anatomy 41st edition clear cut writes that first branch of the external carotid artery superior thyroid artery mcq and only medial branch of external carotid artery that is the ascending pharyngeal artery because it will supply the pharynx okay so we will see on the detail later but now come to the pgi chandigarh question facial artery is given at the thyroid triangle near the greater corner of the hyoid then it is running at the sub mandibular triangle then it winds the lower border of the mandible then it becomes superficial so mcq this facial artery is palpable along this margin of mandible in front of the masseter this is the masseter so in front of the masseter it is palpable getting the point okay so anesthesia people they feel this artery and they can take idea they can take an idea for the bp heart rate pulse this all the things that's why facial artery is also known as anesthetist artery mcq which artery is known as anesthetist artery answer is the facial artery now this facial artery is having the zigzag course zigzag course why it is having the zigzag course because it facilitates the movement see here facial artery beta yahan par hai bhagwan ne isko zigzag aur tortuous course ke sath banaya agar bhagwan isko straight bana deta to ek bar hum mouth open karte ya smile karte ye artery rupture ho jati getting the point so god created this facial artery with the zigzag manner to prevent the rupture to facilitate the movement to beta iski branches kya kya hoti hai question from your pgi chandigarh first branch jab ye aisa ja raha hai ni पाल ले आया इसको एक ब्रांच दे दिया सो इनफीरियर लेबियल आर्टरी फिर ये जब ऊपर गया ऊपर वाला होठ आ गया सो इट इज गिविंग वन ब्रांच टू द सुपीरियर लेबियल आर्टरी फिर ये आर्टरी ऊपर जा रही है तो नोज आ गया सो इट इज गिविंग द लैटरल नेजल आर्टरी एंड इनफीरियर लेबियल फ्रॉम द लोअर साइड इनफीरियर लेबियल फ्रॉम द ऑपोजिट साइड दोनों दोनों एनास्टोमोस की एट द मिड लाइन सुपीरियर लेबियल फ्रॉम द इच साइड एंड लैटरल नेजल फ्रॉम द इच साइड सो दे आर मेकिंग द एनास्टोमोसिस एट द मिड लाइन and then this facial artery is ending near the medial angle of the eye as the name of the angular artery complete to beta jab ye angular artery yahan khatam hoti hai to yahan par ek choti si artery hoti hai that is a dorsal nasal artery that is a dorsal nasal artery getting the point so this dorsal nasal artery is the branch of yes ophthalmic artery which is the branch of internal carotid artery while the facial artery is the branch of external carotid artery तो जो बच्चे टॉप लेवल एग्जाम का प्रिपरेशन कर रहे हैं उनके लिए दिस मीडियल एंगल ऑफ द आई इज द क्लासिकल साइट फॉर द एनास्टमोसिस बिटवीन द एनास्टम सॉरी एनास्टमोसिस बिटवीन द इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल कैरोटेड आर्टरी सॉरी सो मीडियल एंगल ऑफ द आई आई इज द वेरी best site for the anastomosis between internal and external carotid artery besides this there is a posterior unnamed branches are also there these are the arteries in the brief okay now see here what are the nerves so i am just telling you there are the dermatome v1 v2 and the v3 ophthalmic division maxillary division and the mandibular division so what are the branches from the ophthalmic division yes supratrochlear nerve supraorbital nerve and here is a lacrimal gland that's why lacrimal nerve so what you can remember su su l supratrochlear supraorbital and lacrimal then just below this supratrochlear there is a infratrochlear and then tip of the nose is supplied by external nasal nerve so this is the mcq tip of the nose is supplied by which nerve answer is the external nasal nerve so these are the five branches again supra trochlear mm -hmm. supra orbital and here is that climber here is the lacrimal then infra trochlear and external nasal trick su su l i e su su lie in this funny way you can remember 
su su li l i e supratrochlear supraorbital lacrimal infratrochlear e for external nasal complete then this part is supplied by the maxillary nerve so here is the one zygomatic foramen so nerve is coming from the zygomatic foramen to the temporal one zygomatic or temporal from the zygomatic bone to the face zygomatic or facial and below the orbit there is one more nerve that is the infra orbital nerve what the point and this is the our buccal region this is the our buccal region getting the point so what are the various nerve here there is the mental nerve and then at the site of the buccal there is a buccal nerve and then here is the auricular and the temporal supplying nerve that's why auricular temporal nerve again mental nerve buccal nerve auricular temporal nerve how can you remember yes mba master in business administration mba mental buccal auricular temporal so this all are supplied with the trigeminal nerve except angle of mandible i will tell you angle of the mandible is supplied by one nerve which is the auricular that's why it is known as the great auricular nerve okay so these are the sensory nerve supply of the face supplied by the fifth cranial nerve trigeminal nerve so this trigeminal nerve if it is getting inflamed compressed or any kind of the pathology that is known as trigeminal neuralgia which is also known as salman khan suicidal disease so why it is known as a salman khan suicidal disease we will see in the zoom app part now see motor nerve of the face facial nerve because in embryology part i told you in yesterday class all the muscles of the face they are derived by the second pharyngeal arch that's why the nerve of the second pharyngeal arch is facial nerve that's why all the muscles of the face they are supplied by the facial nerve this is the hilton law getting the point except i told you levator palpebri superioris levator palpebri superioris three words that why third cranial nerve is supplying this muscle of the eyelid levator palpebri superioris got the point now see here facial nerve is the motor nerve it will come at the face and it will divide into the five divisions so you have to just keep the hand over the face in this way so first branch is going to the temporal side so this is the temporal branch another branch is going towards the zygomatic bone that's why this is zygomatic branch another branch is going towards the buccal side that's why this is the buccal branch next is running over the mandible so this is the marginal mandible and the last branch is running towards the neck so this is the cervical so in this way you can remember what are the five terminal branches of the facial nerve supplying the face so this was the brief now i am going to share the zoom id within 5 minutes okay so stay connected then we will continue this face part in detail with the proper notes formation just as recently we completed the inguinal canal and the hernia part okay aur beta iske baad fir neuro anatomy ki class rahegi okay so just stay connected we will do thank you very much and thank you everyone for your lovely wishes thank you stay connected enjoy the study thank you